If you don't live with intention, it will be no accident when you fail. Success starts every day the moment you wake up. Good morning, champions. Josh Zeppis, freedom fighter, creator, mastermind of Broke is No Joke, the movement towards true freedom. And today we have another very special article, and we're going to talk about the three most important things you can do to start your day, essentially. The things that are going to help you for success. Now, there's a lot of ways you can start your day, uh, but we're not going to go into every aspect. I'm going to give you three of what I consider the most important ways to start your day, but they're all based around a very important concept, and that is intention. You've got to start your day with intention. Tell me if this sounds familiar. A lot of us, we start our day, it's the alarm goes off, and it's go, 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 right? We're in a rush. We rush to try and get breakfast done, get the kids ready, uh, whatever else we got to do. And it's just rush and it's rush and it's rush. And then we never seem to catch up throughout the day. The entire day is we're, we're behind the eight ball. We're trying to figure out how do we get ahead? How do we keep up with things? Why is it that so many other people seem to have time in their day and we don't? The key is starting your day with intention. What if you started your day and the first part of your day was yours? Like this is, by the way, time is life. This is your time, your life. What if you started the day with piece of time, a piece of your life, and you, you were like, this is mine. And you started your day with that intention to make it a great day, with an intention to put things in proper perspective so that the rest of the day goes as expected or as desired, right? So we're, let's, let me, let's get into it. Let me just share this. So the first thing I would recommend, first thing when you wake up, and uh, this may sound a little strange, because a lot of folks out there are very dehydrated throughout the entire day. But my first tip, drink water, hydrate. Uh, you just spend, think about this. Most people eat dinner, maybe have, you know, have some water or whatever around eight o'clock at night. And now you're waking up and maybe 8 a.m. You're finally getting around to breakfast or maybe a little bit earlier. But you've gone 10 or 12 hours typically without drinking. And you're dehydrated. First thing. And... 2% dehydration, this is clinically proven, look this up, 2% dehydration affects your mental performance, your physical performance, emotional capabilities. It just affects every aspect of your life. So the first thing you want to do after starving yourself and after dehydrating yourself all evening, all night, is drink some water. I recommend, and here's my challenge for you, I'd recommend 32 ounces. and. Talk to your doctor if you need to. Don't take, I'm not trying to give you medical advice, uh, but for most people, if you can drink 32 ounces by the time you hit noon, you're doing pretty good. And that's just a start. For most people, it might be a little bit more. For some, it might be a little bit less. But make an intention to hydrate. And what I like to do is I like to hydrate while I'm doing my stretching. So I always start off the day with what I call a baby stretch and then other forms of stretching. While I'm doing my stretching, just sip in the water, right? So I fill up my, actually I have a, a 22 ounce that I fill up twice. So I have a 22 ounce while I'm stretching, I'm drinking it while I'm doing the rest of my morning activities, I'm drinking it and I'm hydrated. I'm feeling good, right? That's a big deal. So after you're done hydrating, number two is to breathe. Throughout the evening, when we sleep, we're not taking deep breaths. We're, we're doing what we call shallow breathing. Your body's in survival mode, keeping you alive throughout our day with stress and traffic and all this stuff. We don't think about breathing. We're also taking shallow breaths. There's some. There's a very key thing when it comes to breathing. If we can start taking deeper breaths, oxygenating our blood, right? Start getting that energy, the source of life back into us, you're gonna find amazing things happen. So I would recommend at least five minutes, maybe start with five minutes, you could work your way up to 10, 15, 20 minutes of sitting there quietly breathing exercise. Some people like to do meditation, perfectly fine. Meditation, breathing, it could be guided. You can just sit quietly, set a timer, sit quietly and breathe, just breathe. Deep breaths, focus on your breath. Deep breath through your nose, exhale out through your mouth and just do that for five minutes. You're gonna be amazed at how you feel afterwards once your body is oxygenated, once your body is enriched by uh, basically the, the lifeblood right, between water and oxygen, okay? Once you do that, now it's time to get the mind ready. Now it's time to get our attitude, 
our true intentions for the day ready. So step three is to affirm. Affirm to ourselves what we're doing, why we woke up, why we woke up in the morning, where we're headed, and this is called affirmations. And let me tell you something, I came from corporate America, I spent 20 years in a cubicle, negative, skeptical, shy, introverted engineer. The last thing you were gonna get me to do was do this crazy woo-woo thing called affirmations. And uh, kind of like what you see Stuart Smalley do on, on Saturday Night Live, not like that. Affirmations is a way to program your mind. So this isn't about accepting who you are. Uh, I was working with a client actually just earlier today and she's talking about affirmations and she says, yeah, I just, I wanna make sure I accept who I am. That's not exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about programming the person you want to be. That's the purpose of true affirmations. So it's not, I like me, I accept me. You can do stuff like that, but I want you to be saying stuff in present tense. You are a champion. You're gonna have a great day today you're gonna make it happen, you don't procrastinate, you always do the right thing because it's right. You and, and talk to yourself, program yourself the way you wanna be. The way I start my day, I have a two minute long affirmation, maybe a little bit longer, um, but I always start it the same way. You're gonna have a, have a super fantastic day today because you're too blessed to be stressed, you're too glad to be sad, you're too elated to be agitated, and you're too anointed to be disappointed. All right, I start that way and it's just, it energizes you and it gets you focused on the right stuff. Okay, so those are the three ways that I recommend that you start your day with intention. I'm going to give you a bonus. I put it in the article too. So there's a bonus. The bonus, number four, is to write. And what I want you to write is one of two things. Write down your personal mission statement. Okay. What's that? You don't have one? Oh my goodness gracious. Personal mission statement. You're probably wondering what it is. A personal mission statement is the reason why you get out of bed in the morning and you don't have one. You don't know why you woke up? I hope that's not the case, guys. I'm just playing with you. I really hope you know why you wake up every morning and I hope it's not because of an alarm clock. I hope it's not because you guys sit in traffic to go to a job you hate. I hope it's not because the kids are screaming. I hope there's actually a positive reason based around your purpose for existing, for living, that is why you're out of bed. If not, create one, okay? Personal mission statement. Look, all businesses have mission statements. There's no such thing as a, a successful business that doesn't have a mission statement, that doesn't know why it exists. So have that. Conversely, if you don't have a mission statement right now, you can also write down your one goal that you wanna accomplish for this year. Your one main focus, the one thing that if you accomplished it, would make your entire year the best year you ever had. Write it down. Don't say it out loud, don't read it, write it down. Find a journal, write it down, and remind yourself why you woke up that morning. So when all that crap happens later on, when all that stress happens, when your boss is yelling at you, your spouse is upset, the cat's throwing up, all this kind of craziness goes on throughout your day, you're still grounded. You still remember why you woke up, and it will guide you to make the right decisions throughout the rest of your day. So. Hopefully this was worthwhile. I'm challenging you. Make sure you start your day with intention. If you want to throw other things into your morning routine or if you already have one, fantastic. I'm just trying to give you the three basic foundational keys to consider. If you don't have a morning routine, start with these. If you already have one, maybe add these in if they're not already there or take a different approach. But please start your day with intention. Give yourself 10, 15 minutes to you because it's your life. You own it when you first wake up and don't give it away to someone else, right? The rest of your day you give away, but please take a little bit of time. All right, guys, I appreciate you all. I love everybody. I can't wait to meet you at the top because the bottom, as you know, is just way, way too crowded. Take care. God bless. I'll see you next time.